Feudal Turner, Autumn Leaf Cake, is an iconic cake created in Paris by Gaston Lenotre in 1968. A rich and decadent cake layered with crispy meringue, macaron succès, chocolate mousse, and then finished with gorgeous chocolate fans. First in the agenda, we are going to make two thin discs out of French meringue. So you want to start beating egg whites along with a cream of tartar. If you don't have any, you can use a few drops of lemon juice. That will stabilize the egg whites and about a third of the sugar at a medium speed. And you can let it run as long as you need. When ready, increase mixer speed to high and beat until stiff peaks form adding the remaining sugar gradually. Not done yet. Now you want to fold in the sifted powdered sugar. Then pipe out two identical circles, which by the way should be slightly smaller in diameter than the cake ring. Needless to say that if you've got enough meringue, you may want to make a third disc. Keep it as a backup or make small ones for individual feuille d'auton cakes. Bake French meringue at 212 degrees Fahrenheit, 100 Celsius for an hour. Then turn the oven off and leave the meringue inside for 30 minutes more. Next, the succès. Succé is a large macaron that is pretty close to the Dacquois biscuit. So it's a meringue in which I'm going to add a tempotant mixture, a one-to-one -one ratio of powdered sugar and almond meal turned into fine powder. Next step, combine sugar almond mixture with a dash of milk to form a paste. Meanwhile, make a stiff pix meringue. Ah! This is what I am talking about, guys. Look at this beautiful, gorgeous meringue. Now, you want to incorporate about a quarter of the meringue into the sugar almond paste. Once fully incorporated, add, and without deflating, the remaining meringue. You should end up with this light and fluffy texture. Unlike the meringue disc we've made earlier, the succès disc should be a bit taller. Bake macaron succès at 265 degrees Fahrenheit, 130 Celsius for an hour plus. So, la feuille d'automne cake is made with two meringue discs and one succès. All right, so next I'm gonna brush the two meringue discs with a melted chocolate in which you want to add a little bit of cocoa butter or oil. Brushing meringue disc with chocolate helps avoid them breaking up or getting soft later. Are you ready for the montage? Sounds good. Chocolate mousse is on. Melt chocolate slowly in a water bath, add butter and keep chocolate at 104 degrees Fahrenheit, 40 degrees Celsius. In the meantime, guess what? We are going to beat egg whites again. Once meringue has reached stiff peaks, add egg yolks and mix until just incorporated. Next, mix about a third of the meringue yolk mixture into the lukewarm chocolate and then incorporate the remaining meringue. Now, let's build that cake. Pipe out chocolate mousse all around the edge of the cake ring and coat with a spatula or a spoon. Then add the first layer of uh, chocolate mousse, then top with the macaron succès, add more mousse and then close the cake with the second meringue and smooth that out with the remaining chocolate mousse and freeze the cake overnight and one day before you want to serve it. Take it out from the freezer and remove the cake ring and the plastic acetate. And keep the cake refrigerated until ready to decorate with chocolate fans. Chocolate fans are seen by many as the most challenging part of this iconic cake. Not anymore. So in order to achieve super thin chocolate fans, because you know, if it's too thick, it's going to overwhelm the cake and that's not what you want. There is indeed a couple of methods used for this particular chocolate fans decoration, but in any case scenario, chocolate must not be tempered. So, a couple of hours before starting, you want to place three clean baking tray in a freezer. Melt dark chocolate couverture grade at 122 degrees Fahrenheit and try to maintain it at that temperature during the whole procedure. I mean, it can go a little bit lower, but not too much. 
So first I'm going to wrap the sides of the cake with two thin chocolate strips. As you can witness, this technique, by spreading warm chocolate onto a frozen tray, turns chocolate into a pliable ribbon. Last step, arrange each chocolate fan artfully on top of the cake. Same protocol here, 50 degrees Celsius chocolate spread into thin strips onto frozen tray. An awesome technique that you could use to decorate your cupcakes. Marvelous! I hope guys you have enjoyed this one-of-a-kind chocolate cake episode. To get the full recipe and much more, go to my website at brunoalbus.com. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up and click down below to the subscribe button. Have a beautiful day. See you soon.